Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you about a time I got yelled at really bad in a lesson. Uh, I was a sophomore at Juilliard. I was studying at the time with Joe Pereira, who used to be in the New York Phil, now he's in the LA Phil, and he was a really great teacher for me. So Joe would assign me two pieces on snare drum every week, a rudimental etude and a Delacluse etude. And each week he would give me a list of things that I could do better musically and technically, how to play roll smoother, how to develop better grip, and all of these things which are still in my playing now, which I'm so thankful for. That week I was having some really bad problems with flat flams. I couldn't figure out how to separate the grace note from my primary note. I could play flams, of course, especially isolated, but in the heat of the moment, in the piece, they would always just come out flat. And so he was really insistent in the lesson that I needed to figure this out, and then he assigned me two new pieces. So I decided to completely dive in. I wanted to figure out flat flams once and for all because I was tired of having them in my lesson. I didn't want to be embarrassed. I didn't want to play them in any performance ever again. I didn't want to even have to worry about it. So I started obsessing about this. I couldn't think about anything else. I'd walk through the hallway from class to class just thinking about what exercises I could do on flat flams, and I started working on it. I looked through my stacks of method books to see if there was stuff on flat flams or exercises I could work on. I tried just marathoning flams. I tried like playing Podemski etudes super fast like I've heard you're supposed to do. My lesson had been on a Thursday and so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was just obsessing over flams and it was really working. found the answer to my problem of flat flams and I was pumped. I told all my friends about it. I like couldn't stop talking about it. And it was Tuesday, so then I of course had to work on my two pieces, the rudimental etude and the Delacruz etude. That's only one day to work on all this stuff. So I came into my lesson on Thursday. I was really excited and I told Joe, I figured it out. I figured out flat flams. He's like, okay, fine, play me the piece. And so I played in the piece and the flams weren't exactly perfect, but it was obvious that I had fixed this problem and I wasn't having issues with flat flams anymore. I get to the end of the piece and he said, okay, Rob, your flams are fine, but you didn't learn these pieces. You're not ready to play them. And I said, yeah, but I, I fixed my flams. Like this is a huge deal. And he's like, Rob, you are a sophomore at Juilliard. You should do better than this. You need to come in with these pieces learn. This is not acceptable. So he signed me two more pieces. We finished the lesson and afterwards I said, okay, I need to figure this out. I need to learn a better, faster, more effective way to learn music. I don't want to be embarrassed in front of my teachers anymore. I don't want to get lost in the music. I need to figure this out. Every serious snare drummer during their education goes through this. Every percussionist, every musician, you have an incoming onslaught of repertoire and music that you have to learn for various things, for your lesson, for orchestra, for chamber music. You have a constant list of things you can't do. And on top of all those urgent, panicky, last minute things you have to fix for whatever's going on in your life, you have to kind of keep an eye on your long-term progressions to know that you'll eventually make it as an accomplished snare drummer and achieve your goals, whether it's winning an audition or getting into some kind of college. Now, I don't know how you deal with this right now, but everyone has a practice system that attempts to deal with this. Over time, you build one new idea on top of one more idea until you develop a sort of engine where you can let the music come in, you churn, you fix problems, you solve things, and you output music that's ready for performance. The most important thing you could do is to improve your process, your daily practice process. This coming Monday, I'm starting a course called How to Set Up Your Daily Snare Drum Practice Routine 101. I'm going to go over mistakes that you're making in the practice room that are preventing you from improving. I'm going over how to structure your day of practicing. And I'm going to go over this formula that I've used in my progression as a snare drummer that has helped me stay on track and make the most rapid progress possible. If I could help you with one thing in your snare drum practicing, it wouldn't be to fix any individual problem. It would be to copy my actual routine of daily practicing and paste it on you so that you could follow an effective, efficient daily practice system. So you guys can enroll in this. You have to enroll online. It's totally free. It's three videos. It starts on Monday. You can get it at robnopper.com slash snare course. And I can't wait to see you guys in there.